8 a.m., a cyclist left point A for point B. So we start off by drawing the distance timeline. Point A, point B. And they say that it's 8 a.m., so 8 a.m., the cyclist in this direction. Okay? Then, and an average speed of 36 kilometers per hour, so we will also put this down, 36 km per hour. The whole sentence is a bit long, okay, so I'm just going to use another color to show, right? Wow. For wow, this fake note is actually means at the same time, right? So you have to know that it's also 8 a.m. A motorist left point B for point A. So 8 a.m. over here, point B for point A. So in this direction, the motorist. At an average speed of 78 kilometers per hour. So we also put this down, 78 kilometers per hour. They were 12.75 oh km apart. They did not mention that the cyclists or the motorists met or passed each other that kind. So we'll just know that they haven't passed or they didn't meet each other. So let us say that the cyclists will be here at 8.45 am. Then the motorists will be here at 8.45 am. They haven't need or pass. So this distance in between, alright, this part here will be the 12.75 km. Okay. And what happened is they are asking you how far apart was point A from point B. So how far apart, please take note. They are actually asking for distance. So if they are asking for distance, we will look at the formula of distance first, which is speed times time. Okay? So you want the whole thing, right? And you can see that for the cyclist travel a portion of the distance, the motorist travel a portion of the distance, and with this. So this will make up the full distance. So formula, speed times time, we have the speed of the cyclist. And then here they only show you the reading of time. Take note, for formula of speed times time, we always take speed to times the, the time taken. Alright, so you've got to actually find the time taken over here. Okay? And the time taken over here will be 45 minutes. However, okay, we got to use okay, the right conversion the measurement unit with the speed. So you look at the speed, right? It's based in hours. So if we write in minutes, you have to actually convert this to hour. Converting minutes to hour, one hour that's 60 minutes. So you take the minutes 45 to be out of 60. Okay? And whether you simplify or not, it doesn't matter because ultimately you can use the calculator to find the answer, right? But I'll just put the simplified one. Three quarter hour. Okay. And if the cyclist traveled this portion of the distance in three quarter hour, the motorist will also travel using three quarter hour. Okay. So now we will start off by looking for the distance that the cyclist covered. Okay. Speed times time. 36 km per hour multiplied by 3 quarter hour. Distance covered by the cyclist at 27 km. I will use the same thing to find the distance covered by the motorist. Okay. Speed of 78 km per hour multiplied by 3 quarter hour. get a 58.5 km. Okay? So you can see
see, just to show you what we have so far, we look for this already, which is 27. We look for this already, which is 58.5. So if you want a total distance, you just add up these three. Because in between, this one is given. Okay? So for total distance, Twenty-seven, the first part here, plus the twelve point seven five, plus the fifty-eight point five here. You get ninety-eight point two five. Okay, and please remember it's all based on KM. So your final answer, please take note, ninety-eight point two five KM.